Mike Lupica now joining us on Radio Row of Lupica, of course, heard 1-3 on 104.5, the team, your home for New York sports. Mike, we love having you on every day, man, for 1-3. Thanks for being a part of that. We get an awful lot of calls from, from upstate. I'm always – there's we get at least – Three or four calls a day from Albany or Schenectady or Glens Falls. So it's been no, it's been it's been it's been really fun, and you find out that the appetite for sports and the knowledge of sports is is uh, doesn't diminish as you move away from New York City. Well, especially you know upstate diehard, rabid New York sports fans, yeah. and a lot like me, I I hear your voice and I go, all right, this is this is my guy. He knows sports. So that your voice is on our station, it. it I gotta tell you, you gave us a lot of street credit, and then we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I, you know, I sometimes worry that I'm not dumb enough to really succeed uh, in the new, in the radio business. I'm not. I was just saying this to a friend of mine. I may not be loud enough, or dumb enough, or trivial enough, but we we think we do a really smart, funny show every day, and and people seem to like it. And uh, I never. I was saying this the other day to uh, Andrew Gunling, our producer i said i never look up and think oh i've got 45 more minutes to go or i've got 20 more minutes it's the the two hours goes by like a speeding train yeah new york knicks ever going to get it right mike yeah i mean i they've got to get better but i love this idea they won a few games and all of a sudden actually somebody asked me a question about the playoffs yesterday i said they're 30 games under 500 (laughs) They're one of the worst teams in history and now they're actually going to that's the new carrot they're going to dangle in front of their fans i Listen, we have no idea whether this guy can coach. Every time they win a game, he says, oh, he's got it figured out now. And uh, Langston Galway, he's the new Jeremy Lin. And now Carmelo's a leader because they've beaten some scrub teams. And, you know, this whole thing with his sore knee. Um, if Harry Hopman, the great old Australian Davis Cup captain, once said, if you're hurt, you don't play. If you play, you're not hurt. So... Either, either this knee is bad enough for him to shut it down, or, or he's got to shut up and play. But somebody said to me the other day, well, the All-Star game might be his last game. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. Is he well enough to play or not? And by the way, they never tell us what's the matter with this knee. And I never question guys' injuries. So if he says he's hurt, he's hurt. But I, I have a feeling that this is going to be something at the end of the day where he has arthroscopic surgery and comes back as good as new next year. Now... Are you are you in the camp that they shouldn't win anymore? Get as many ping pong balls as possible. No, because it's a fallacy that if you get the most ping pong balls, you get the best player. It hasn't happened in ten years. It hasn't happened since like Dwight Howard. So, oh <laughs> yes, if they get the worst record, they'll get Okafor of Duke. Well, uh, somebody show me how that's going to happen. It hasn't happened in ten years. The Celtics had all those ping pong balls once, and they were they thought they were going to get Tim Duncan. I think they ended up with Chauncey Billups or somebody. I, <laughs> that was a better draft than this one, though. <laughs> I think it's actually a good draft. But, again, when you're talking about college freshmen, you don't know. You right. just don't know. And some of them turn out to be Anthony Davis, and, you know, some of them turn out to be Anthony Bennett. You just you never know. Mike Lubica of Lubica, 1-3 on 104.5, the team. You're home for New York sports. Armin in the back. We're live from Radio Row. Mike's been three tables over the entire week doing his show that you hear from 1-3. to three. Eli Manning and whether or not the Giants are going to extend his contract, they're going to do that. But does the New York sports fan that you talk to every day, do they appreciate Eli Manning? Yes. Do they understand how good he is? Yes, I think. But, you know, it's, it's like I've said. Uh, Beckham saved so many people. He was like... Uh, a fireman carrying people out of a burning building. And, and he, he, he restored Eli's reputation. He saved Coughlin's job. He might have saved Jerry Reese's job, even though I don't think Jerry Reese is going to go anywhere. Yes, I think they know that in a quarterback league, if you've got a guy who's won two Super Bowls, you pay him whatever he wants and you keep going. 